Welcome back to the channel. This is Schaefer Productions. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to align your vocal stems for mixing. A lot of times when artists send you sessions, they're not going to be graded properly. Um, that can cause a lot of problems as a common issue that a lot of people face as mixers. So I'm just going to show you an easy technique to fix this in FL Studio 21. Let's go ahead and dive in. Step one, before you drag in the files, make sure you listen to the instrumental and we're going to use FL's tap tempo to find the speed of the beat. Sometimes the tempo will be labeled in the beat, but sometimes it will be incorrect. So it's always a good practice to go ahead and try tap tempo first, just to see what works. We're gonna hold shift and drag in all of our files. All right, um, just to make things easier, I'm gonna leave a little space at the beginning, just in case I need to add an intro later. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna move the beat to the bottom and then I'm gonna move everything back up all right so we've dragged in the artist session files now we're gonna drag in the stems to the beat this is where the issue lies because a lot of times the artist stems and the beat stems will not line up properly so the way we're gonna fix this to make things visually easier, let's go ahead and move the master of the beat stems um, right next to the beat that the artist recorded over, just for visual aid. Um, now, keep in mind when uh, producers send you beat stems, a lot of time there's gonna be a master, one will be mastered, sometimes there'll be another one in there labeled current. And you're gonna wanna uh, mute those when you're actually mixing the beat, but they can actually visually help you line up the files um, before you mute them. So first step is we're going to align the artist stems, which you can see I've highlighted all the artist stems and we're gonna zoom in just about as far as we can go. All right, and visually the easiest thing to line up to the grid is usually the first 808 hit of the song. Um, as you can see here, it's just visually um, easy to line it to the grid, right? So um, you may have to hold down Alt um, on your keyboard so that you can slide it over and we're just gonna get it gridded as closely as we can. And then I'm gonna shave off the extra silence at the beginning. A lot of times artists will have a little bit of extra air at the beginning of the song and you wanna eliminate that, it's just, random noise so now once we've aligned the artist stems we're now going to highlight the beat stems and we're going to make sure that that 808 is also lined up um, on the grid again you may have to hold alt to shift it over properly but make sure that they are pretty much as close as you can get you pretty much uh, zoom in as far as possible and as you can see here, we've now got the artist stems and the beat stems lined up successfully. All right. Now the next step is we're going to delete the master of the beat because we don't need it. And we are gonna keep the artist version of the beat and just mute it for reference in case we need it. But we might not need it, but we're gonna save it just in case. All right, and now everything should be aligned properly. That's going to conclude today's tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And stay tuned for more lessons and tutorials. Thank you so much, guys.